Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plan Obsessed, and I'm going to take a look in on the European Nightcrawler only bins. Let's see what we've got going on today. Looks like this onion is trying to grow a new onion. Little, you know, little worms trying to be gardeners. So even though it's only like 55 degrees in the basement, you can see that they are still very active. And I just saw a cocoon, although I think I lost it. So they are still very active and uh, reproducing even at this low temperature. We're gonna, and it happens every year here in uh, the Midwest. You usually get a, a couple of weeks worth of uh, a cold snap that is, you know, below freezing not unusual and every year the worms uh, these kind of worms do just fine don't see them I mean they might slow down a little bit but they don't um, go dormant or anything like that not at not at this temperature so just kind of flipping them around seeing what I've got looks like I've got a, a good size one there um, kind of still just puttering around here and seeing what I've got for leftover food from last time looks like onion peels and that one onion that's trying to go and a bunch of avocado seeds. That may have been the feeding over there from last time, but not doesn't seem like there's anything left that's causing a worm ball or anything. Just got the banana stems and Lots of avocado pits. I don't know if it's getting to be the time of season where they're not growing me any avocado trees, but I'm seeing that they're consuming things more than they are growing them. Which, in, you know, during, I don't know, maybe I'll have to go back and look at my old videos and see if, uh, if they seem to grow plants more in the spring or, or not. And maybe it's got something to do with the avocado as well, you know, what shape it's in, you know, when I put it in the bin. Just kind of looking through here, collecting all the food. Kind of put everything down here in this corner so that they can all get together. Oh, here we go got a little bit of that melon left just the tiniest little bit but other than that they've completely just turned it into skin looks like the red wigglers ate their pieces faster than the European night crawlers mound things around. I'll just put everything back here right in the center. Right. A lot of long-term food here, so they will appreciate some of the fast food that they're about ready to get. Got some hamburger buns that went bad. Got some carrots. And got some tea bags. And I will give them some grit. That's oyster, ground oyster shell and ground egg shell that I put through a coffee grinder. Let's cover them back up. You know, they've definitely got enough avocado pits and stuff, so I'm not going to give them any of the leftover avocados. They've got enough of that to work on. All right, let me switch you over and take you to the the bin that is taller than it is wide. All right, here we are at the tall bin, 
and I did have the lids on the European night crawlers here their bins were not getting overly wet so they've had their lid on so you can see all of the the castings that are made right on the edge of the bin where they've been traveling due to the moisture so yeah it looks like they've eaten out all of the avocado and the only thing that's left right now is the shell stick around and see what else I can find it's like a little onion peel bag. Good size worm here. Yeah, I don't know if it's just because they're a bigger worm or what, but I really do kind of prefer the European night ca crawlers. They, even in systems that are not exactly what you would expect to get large worms, they still stay pretty big, you know, for fishing. Um, I know the blue worms and stuff, they get so small that you can't really use them for that. I'm just kind of going through here, looks like I've got an onion that's trying to grow as well. But other than that, that doesn't, there doesn't seem to be any food except for some, some tea bags that are not yet done. So I'll just kind of dig another hole right here and give them some food. More of the hamburger buns that went bad. And some carrots. And then I'll give them some grit as well. So that should do them pretty good for another week or so, especially at the low temperatures that I'm having right here but maybe if I get back in time maybe we'll see a worm ball um, in the next video all right guys well that is it for the European night crawlers um, if you like the video give us a muddy thumbs up and if you're not already a member of my worm family click that subscribe button if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it ring that little bell icon all right guys thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody have a good day